Hi everyone. Here is an easy English lesson for children. This lesson is about subject and predicate. And it is the first lesson, a very basic one. So let's learn what the subject is and what the predicate is. All right. Look at this picture. Ravi plays football. Ravi is in the picture there. And the sentence states that Ravi plays football. This is a simple sentence. What is the subject of a sentence? The subject of a sentence is the person or thing doing an action. In the sentence, Ravi plays football. Ravi is doing the action. He is playing football. So Ravi is the subject. The subject can have a noun, pronoun, or noun phrase. For example, Ravi plays football. He plays football. The boy playing football is my neighbor. In the first case, the first sentence, Ravi is a noun. But in the second case, he is a pronoun. In the third case, the boy playing football is a noun phrase. And yet, in all three cases, the highlighted words make up the subject of the sentence. Ravi is the subject in the first sentence. He is the subject in the second sentence. And the boy playing football is the subject in the third sentence. What is the predicate of a sentence? The predicate tells us about the subject. It tells us what the subject is or does. It contains a verb, verb phrase, or all the words after that. In the sentence, Ravi plays football, plays football tells us what the subject Ravi does. Hence, that is the predicate of the sentence. Identify the subject and the predicate of the sentence that you see in front of you. Ravi plays football. Of course, without doubt, Ravi is the subject and plays football is the predicate. Got it? The predicate contains the verb and the words that come after it. For example, Ravi plays football. Ravi, of course, is the subject and plays football is the predicate which contains the verb and the words that come after it. So plays, which is the verb, and football, which is the word that comes after it. Okay? Now get ready for a short test. Are you ready? I hope you are ready to begin. Identify the subject and predicate in the following sentence. The dog is sitting in the tub. Think carefully. The dog is the subject. And of course, the rest of the sentence forms the predicate. I hope you got that right. Identify the subject and predicate in the following sentence. 
this one now. He reads his favorite book in the library. Now check if you got it right. He is the subject because a pronoun can also be a subject. And the rest of the sentence makes up the predicate. I hope you got that. What about this one? The two girls are twins. Identify the subject and the predicate in this sentence. Yes, the two girls is the subject and our twins is the predicate. So you need to remember that the subject does not always have to contain only one word. It might contain more than one word, okay? What about this sentence? Rifa and Kushbu are going to the mall. Identify the subject and the predicate. And be careful. The answer? I hope you got it right. Rifa and Kushbu, of course, makes up the subject. And are going to the mall is the predicate. How did you do in this test? If you got all the sentences right, then you know how to identify the subject and predicate in a sentence very well. If you did not get all these sentences right, then you need to practice a lot more. We'll meet again very soon. And until we do, bye. Take care of yourselves and keep practicing.